to find out the moment of inertia of a rectangle about its centroidal axis. Say so if I x x and I y y are the moments of inertia of a centroid uh, of a rectangle about its centroidal axis. Let us see how we can derive these two. For that, let us consider a rectangle of width B units and height H units. Now we know the centroid is at the geometrical center. Say, let this be the centroid. This is x, x, y, y axis. Obviously, this will be the centroid O or G, whatever it be. Now, we need to find moment of inertia Ixx, that is about xx axis, rotation of this rectangle about xx axis, or inertia for rotation of this again uh, about xx axis. And similarly, yy about yy axis also. For that, what we do is we will consider a small area, a small strip of thickness dy, which is at a distance of y from the centroidal horizontal axis. So this is y, this distance is dy. So we know the area of that element is equal to b into dy. Okay, so that is b into dy. Now, we will consider the rotation of this element about the horizontal axis like this. It will rotate like this. Or if this is the rectangle area and if this is the centroidal axis, we considered a small area here, a strip here, and we consider the rotation like this about this axis. Like this. That is Ixx. And I, Yy will be like this. Yy will be like this or say like this okay so elemental area area of this strip is b into dy b into dy now we know the moment of inertia of this element about xx axis is how to find it out area into square of the distance or distance into distance that is moment of inertia of this strip is equal to b into dy into the distance is y into y so that is equal to b into y square dy that is the moment of inertia of this strip with respect to or about xx axis now to find out the whole uh, moment of inertia of moment of inertia of the whole rectangle what we will do is we will integrate this from say minus h by 2 to h by 2 if you consider this this will be h by 2 and uh, this will be h by 2 isn't it so if we, we are considering uh, this as the reference axis or the centroidal axis about which you are finding out the moment of inertia. So we will integrate the moment of inertia of this strip about or from minus h by 2 to plus h by 2. So this is minus h by 2. This is plus h by 2. Plus h by 2. Is it from 0 to plus h by 2? 0 to minus h by 2 like that. So Moment of inertia Ixx is equal to what will be Ixx integral from minus h by 2 to plus h by 2 b y square 
dy. That will be the moment of inertia of this rectangle above its horizontal centroidal axis. How will integrate this? So it will be equal to b is constant integral minus h by 2 to h by 2 y square dy. y will be varying from minus h by 2 to plus h by 2. And this will be equal to, when you integrate, you will get y cube divided by 3, isn't it? b is there from minus h by 2 to h by 2. And when you, integrate, when you uh, simplify this, you will get it as b into y cube, that is, uh, b by 3, right? b by 3 into y cube is h cube divided by h minus minus h cube divided by h. Isn't it? This will be equal to b by 3 into 2 h cube divided by h. That is equal to b h cube divided by this will be cancelling or as uh, 4 into 3 12 so i xx equal to b h cube divided by 12 this is the equation for centroidal axis equation for moment of inertia about horizontal centroidal axis ixx that's equal to bh cube by 12. Similarly, we can consider a an area, an elemental area here in this direction and we can integrate the moment of inertia of that area from minus b by 2 to plus b by 2. We will get iyy equal to h b cube divided by 12. IYY is equal to HB cube divided by 12. Okay. Then IZ is equal to as per the perpendicular axis theorem we know IXX plus IYY. Isn't it? Therefore, I z z is equal to I x x plus I y y. Okay, we'll see it later. So that is the equation for I x x and I y y.